With all the rain we've gotten lately, people are turning to different options to protect their homes like this. This is called an aqua dam, and one man in Rocheron is happy to have it. Jacqueline Crea spoke with that homeowner. She joins us live with what he has to say about this. Jackie? Yeah, Lisa, out of the thousands of homes that were evacuated and damaged by the flooding here in Brazoria County, behind me there is one that is doing just fine, and that's because the homeowner decided to take a chance on something called an aqua dam, and it's still holding the water back. This was the scene, military vehicles, airboats, and mandatory evacuations in parts of Rocheron, where the Brazos River was taking over. Your family being... Uh, you know, relocated, and you know it's it's heartbreaking to to know that that could happen. Randy Wagner was determined to find a way to save his home. Not knowing what that that level was going to stop at, I needed to prepare for something that no one has seen. In the middle of all of it, it looked like he did just that. His house, now an island. This is a dam that's uh, filled with water, holding back water. He took a chance, drove to Louisiana to buy an aqua dam. It took him and two other guys a few hours to fill up 400 feet of 30-inch high tubes made of plastic and fabric with water surrounding his property. I was a crazy guy. Everybody was kind of, you know, going by laughing at me, but... Uh, uh, Today, they, they're really impressed with this uh, aqua dam. And Wagner and his family stayed and waited and watched as the water rose to 27 inches, but never seeped through the barriers. It cost him money, he says, was well worth his sanity. $8,300 is, uh, you know, to me, a small investment on a house that could have two foot of water in it and cost me over $150,000 in repairs. Now he has a place to come home to and hopes that others will learn from the chance he took on a company he found online. Emergency management could use. I mean, I'm, I remember when Attic's Reservoir was going over Highway 6 that could have been used. Wagner hopes everyone will take notice given that a lot of people live in flood prone areas and hey, why not invest in something that obviously is proven to work? I'm live in Brazoria County, Jacqueline Correa, KHOU 11 News. Jackie, thanks for sharing that.